In 1941, the United States entered the most destructive conflict in human history, World War II. More than any previous war, it involved the commitment of the nation's entire human and economic resources. More than 16 million people wore America's uniforms during the war. Among that number were over 350,000 women. The Second World War dramatically changed the lives of American women. Before the war, most American women did not work outside the home. Those who had jobs were employed in a limited range of occupations, such as maids, secretaries, seamstresses, nurses, and teachers. But now the armed forces actively recruited women, asking them to take on demanding and important jobs. As the war progressed, thousands of American nurses left military and naval hospitals in the United States to serve overseas. More than 200 of these military nurses died during the war. The American Armed Forces also recruited women for other non-combat jobs. These military women were something new in American society. Americans worried about the women's safety and virtue so military newsreels painted a bright picture of their army experience. In reality, military women sometimes had to overcome condescension, prejudice, and resentment. But they persisted and exceeded the American military's expectations. Many took jobs that would release men for combat duty. They served as mechanics and technicians and even as pilots. Hundreds were decorated for bravery. Women were not just in demand to fill military jobs during World War II. With millions of men leaving their jobs to join the armed forces, U.S. companies recruited women to meet their growing need for workers. Many women who had low-paying jobs moved to more lucrative positions in factories and shipyards. Many who had not worked before entered the workforce as well. By 1943, women made up one-third of the American labor force. Twenty million women were working outside the home, not just at typewriters and sewing machines, but also at jobs that had been considered exclusively male. In its recruitment effort, the government featured a fictional character, Rosie the Riveter. A poster showed her flexing her muscles under the words, We can do it. Despite their importance to the war effort, women sometimes encountered hostility from male co-workers and supervisors. Women's fashions evolved with their changing roles. Female factory workers began wearing pants to work. They also cut their hair short to keep it from getting caught in machinery. These styles remained popular after the war. Millions of women felt great pride in their contribution to the nation's war effort, but many also saw the war as a disruption in their lives, not as an opportunity for social change. And while they worked hard, they also suffered separation from loved ones, their sons, their husbands, and the men they hoped to marry, and faced the constant uncertainty of whether those men would ever return home. <laughs> 